Hello everyone, my name is Quad and this is just a quick video that will tell you everything you need to know about Carl's Garrison. You can find Carl in the Drifter's camp after you complete the Veilbreaker quest. The Carl's Garrison syndicate works a bit differently from the other syndicates we are used to. You cannot farm any standing with it, but you can still level it up by playing Carl's missions. Each mission will give you one level up which will unlock a new thing in the Carl's Garrison and no, sadly repeating a mission will not work. By leveling up the garrison you will unlock Chipper for example. He will sell us stuff for stock, a currency Cal and his gang uses. You'll be able to get Stanax, a very fun Warframe to play as, weapons like Slaytra, Aphentis, Egret, and probably more in the future. You'll also be able to get Archon mods which are like the best mods in the game with additional effects. They will only work with some Warframes, but I will do a video on them as well because they are extremely cool. And for the end you'll also be able to get an Archon Shard, which is freaking amazing. So we need a lot of stock for this. So let's see how we can get it. Every week Cal will have a fresh mission for you. Currently there is three in total, Sneaky Sabotage, Junk Run and Prison Break. You can see which mission is on rotation in the upper right corner. Besides the objective of completing a mission, you will also have multiple side objectives you can complete that will give you additional stock to the mission completion. You can repeat the mission as many times as you want, so you can do any objective just one at a time, not all at once. Once you complete the objective, you will not be able to get more stock for completing the same objective in the mission once again. So yeah, once you do it, it is done, you get the stock and there's nothing else. You'll still be able to collect things, break veils and stuff like that, but it will have no effect. Right now, as of making this video, I was only able to play the sneaky sabotage mission, which was in my opinion extremely fun, but it was a bit boring when it came to doing all the objectives. I did do the mission about 20 times though, so no wonder. Besides that, there is many other commodities and amenities in the Kyle's garrison. One of them is Fashion Cowl. You can customize your cowl if you approach the Grenier Cache right next to him. I made him look like a Kuva Grenier this time around, but previously he was a very very dripped out minion. You can also use armor pieces you would usually put on Warframes and you can use Void Shells as well, which is amazing. This update doesn't add another 400 hours worth of content to Warframe, but it has Cowl in it, so... If you don't appreciate him, you just need to take your veil off. I hope I answered all of your questions, but if you think I missed something, please let me know. As I said, every single mission and all the objectives, 100% completion, can be found on my channel. Thank you for watching, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.